we see a man named Victor Frankenstein when the movie starts. He is actually a medical student and wants to achieve something big in his life. One night he visits a circus, there he sees a beautiful girl named Lorelei. While performing, she falls from the peak. As a result, she receives a fatal injury. We also see Igor at that place, he is actually haunched back. He cannot walk properly because of a lump on his back. He has an attraction towards Lorelei. She was finding difficulty in breathing due to the injury. But Igor understands her problem and the way to recover her easily. As Igor has enough knowledge about human physiology. As he was hunchback he studied many books to gain knowledge so that he can cure his disease. He has no degree but he was not less than a doctor. He rescues Lorelei within no time. And she restores her breath. Victor Frankenstein gets shocked, witnessing it. He goes to Igor and asks. How did you do it? He tells I have read a number of books. Victor says to him, you are wasting your time in the circus. Come with me. I will change your life. The ringmaster who is also the owner of that place hears it. He becomes furious as Igor wanted to leave that place. He locks him in a cage and threatens him, I will give you to the custody of police if you try to escape as you are my slave. All the human knowledge you gained is by the stolen books and police will immediately arrest you in no time. After some time Victor Frankenstein arrives there and starts running after releasing Igor from that cage. Other people in the circus also witness them and pursue them. But Victor brings Igor to his house safely but with much effort hiding from the eyes of others. Reaching the house, first of all, Victor ejects the pus from his hunchback using injection and medicine so that his body posture gets recovered. And we see Igor is recovered. He was also able to stand for the first time. It means, Igor is not a hunchback person, he could walk properly now. On the other side, we see a police officer who is investigating missing Igor and a local murder case. Victor tells Igor, I am doing an experiment named reversal of death. It means, I can revive the dead man or an animal. But I have to work a lot on it and you have to assist me. He also shows the human eyes placed in a container. When he passes the electricity through them, those eyes start to move. As Igor was very smart he points a mistake done by Victor. He tells him. You have not attached the eyes of nerves perfectly. Victor gets very pleased as he has corrected his mistake. He gets more impressed by him. Now he hires Igor as his assistant. After some days, both revive the organs of dead animals. Both want to create a giant chimpanzee with different organs that would resemble like a monster. They were desiring to take science to an advanced level. After working for some days, Victor and Igor attend a party. There Igor sees Lorelei, whom we see in the circus. That girl could not recognize him but Igor was still in love with her. Here Victor suggests him to keep away from that girl. He tells, that girl is a distraction for you. If you focus on her, you will not be able to concentrate on your work. Later, they come back to their house. Here we see the chimpanzee for the first time. It was chained with different electric wires. Now it was the time to pass the electricity. Electricity is passed through the dead chimpanzee so that it comes to life. Igor is seen very confused here. But he relaxes when the dead chimpanzee starts moving. It means that their experiment was successful. The next day, Victor Frankenstein brings that chimpanzee into his university to prove his science. There he faces some hurdles to revive it, later it starts to attack people around it. It starts hurting the people. So Victor kills that chimpanzee. Later, Victor is thrown out by his university. As he has used unconventional methods. There we see his classmates who were very rich. One of his classmate named Finnegan is very much interested in Victor's work. He says to Victor, I will fund you. Continue these experiments. And he also asks him, make an artificial humanoid for me. It means such a creature which has to be created according to our requirements. So that it may assist us in our various works. In addition to it he offers him a large amount of money. Here it is noticed that Igor does not want to work for them. 
Overlooking Igor, Victor accepts the offer of Finnegan. Igor also agrees with him, as Victor has given him a new life after curing his disease. He had saved his life, owing him he consents to cooperate with Victor. The next day, the same police officers visit Victor's house. So that they may investigate that case. They also know that, an effort was made to revive chimpanzee in the university. Police officers had no warrant to check the house, so Victor does not allow them to check the house. They return back with disappointment. We see Igor meeting Lorelai whom he loves very much. She explains to him, tell Victor to keep away from that experiment as he will again create a monster. They spend a lot of time with each other. When Igor returns back from there, he observes those police officers and their workers breaking Victor's house door. Entering the house from the other door, he alerts Victor to escape. He tells him that your classmate Finnegan has arranged a way to escape. But Victor does not leave from there and starts damaging the machinery there. He does not want to leave the machinery in the hands of others. Meanwhile, the police officer enters the house, he points the gun at them and tries to stop them. But they could not stop Victor. We see a fight between the police officer and Victor. After a great quarrel, Victor pushes him and the police officer's hand strucks in the big toothed wheel. And his hand gets amputated. Now the police officer loses one of his hands. On the other side, both go to Finnegan sitting in a carriage. There is friend Finnegan hands over some money to them. And says, work on my project, create an artificial human. Working here is not safe for you, so go to Scotland there I have an ancestral bungalow and you can work there silently and easily. Victor leaves for Scotland. So that he may work on his project. Finnegan visits Igor as Victor leaves. He tells him, I will finish Victor when the experiment gets completed. And I will utilize his artificial human as a weapon. As it is artificial, it will be bulletproof and no one will be able to end it. And it will work on my commands. Later Igor is thrown into the water while fastening his hands and feet. With great effort Igor comes upward, saving his life. Later he goes to Lorelei and tells her that Victor's life is at risk. And we have to save his life. Both leave for Scotland together so that Victor may be informed that his life is at risk. Reaching there, he reveals everything to Victor. That his life is in danger. But Victor wants to continue the experiment in spite of knowing that his life was at risk. Because he tells a secret to him. When a storm broke out many years ago, his elder brother fell victim to it. And Victor blames himself for his brother's death in some way. And he wants to revive his elder brother through this experiment. After some time, Finnegan and police officers also come to that place, where Victor was conducting his experiment. High electricity was generated during the experiment which begins to cause great destruction everywhere. Everything starts destructing and their machine gets exploded. Due to that explosion Finnegan gets killed. The police officer blames Victor for the root of all the destruction and everything is happening because of him. Here we also see a monster that was created by the experiment. During the conversation, that monster starts to move. Here we see Victor getting excited as his experiment was successful. Victor tries to communicate with that monster but it does not utter a word. And that monster keeps standing at that place without moving. The police officer was afraid as that monster was looking very dangerous, so he shoots it, taking out his gun. That injury was very painful to the monster, so it kills the police officer by attacking him. Afterwards, that monster starts fighting with Victor and Igor and starts harming them. Later they both end that monster cooperatively. In the end, Victor is